Hi, this is your host, Sapin Bharatiya, and welcome to TFR Let's Talk. Today, we have with us once again Dave Birmingham, Senior Technical Evangelist at Sios Technology. Dave, it's great to have you on the show. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. And today, we are going to talk about advantages and challenges of cloud to cloud failover for high availability. But before we deep dive into this topic, can you just talk a bit about what is cloud to cloud failover for high availability? The cloud to cloud failover involves um, having multiple cloud providers and then having the ability to fail between one and the other in the event of an outage. It involves um, data replication to ensure that the data is available in both clouds and also involves mechanisms to help with the failover of the cloud uh, resources as well as the client redirection to ensure con continuous availability. What technical considerations are involved in planning a failover from one cloud to another and how do they impact overall system performance and reliability? Planning a, a cloud cloud failover involves several technical considerations including network latency, compatibility between cloud platforms, data replication and synchronization. For example, you must ensure that data is continuously and efficiently replicated to the secondary cloud with minimal lag, as any delay can impact recovery time objectives and recovery point objectives. You also need to consider the failover mechanisms. Are they automated or manual? Automated failovers reduce the downtime but require extensive testing to ensure reliability. Compatibility between cloud environments is another key factor as discrepancies in configurations such as network topology, VM instance types, or storage classes can lead to performance degradation or a failure during a failover. Why are organizations choosing to implement cross-cloud failover strategies and what specific challenges do they hope to overcome with this approach? Organizations implement cross-cloud failover strategies to enhance resilience against outages and avoid vendor lock-in. By distributing workloads across multiple cloud providers, businesses can ensure continuous operations even if one provider experiences a service disruption, such as those caused by regional outages or security incidents. Additionally, cross-cloud strategies allow organizations to leverage the strength of each cloud provider, such as cost efficiencies or unique services. However, this approach aims to overcome challenges like dependency on a single cloud infrastructure and the risk of widespread downtime. And if possible, can you share some of these strategies, some of these approaches? Yeah, cross-cloud failover strategies are very much like hybrid cloud where you're you know, on-prem in the cloud or cloud on-prem. It's just a matter of uh, leveraging the cloud infrastructure. So we talk about infrastructure as a service is very much like that hybrid cloud configuration we talked about. It's just standing up some instances in one cloud provider and, and other instances in another cloud provider and then implementing some sort of data replication, whether it's block level volume replication uh, like, you know, Cyrus Data Keeper solutions or whether you're, you know, have some sort of replication that is application based like SQL Server, always on availability groups or simple log shipping. Those is, that's the probably the most common failover mechanism. It's much more challenging when you start talking about cloud specific services. And so each one of those would have its own considerations uh, to make, to ensure it could actually fill over between cloud providers. Is failing over from one cloud provider to another always a feasible solution? Or there are scenarios where it introduces more complexity than benefits that it offers? Failing over from one cloud provider to another is not always feasible. It can introduce significant complexity if the two providers have vastly different architectures or service offerings. For instance, differences in network configurations, data handling policies, or compliance requirements can create challenges in achieving seamless failover. If workloads are tightly coupled to a specific cloud proprietary service, 
Migrating those workloads during failover may require substantial re-engineering. In such cases, the complexity and cost might outweigh the benefits making other high availability strategies like multi-region failover within the same provider more practical. When does it make sense to use a multi-cloud failover strategy for high availability? And what are the key factors that organizations should evaluate before making this decision? A, a multi-cloud failover strategy makes sense when an organization requires ultra high availability and cannot tolerate reliance on a single cloud provider. Critical industries like finance or healthcare where downtime can have severe consequences are prime candidates. Some of the factors to evaluate include business continuity requirements. So what are your uh, recovery time objectives, recovery point objectives, goals, cost, uh, is the additional cost of maintaining infrastructure across multiple clouds justifiable? Complexity, does the organization have expertise to manage those cross-cloud failovers? Compliance, are there regulatory considerations that, necess you know, that necessitate geographic or provider diversity? So careful analysis of those factors will help determine if multi-cloud failover aligns with business goals. What are some situations where a cloud-to-cloud -cloud failover strategy would not be advisable and what alternative high-ability methods could be more suitable in these cases? A cloud-to-cloud -cloud failover strategy might not be advisable when the application is tightly integrated with a specific cloud's proprietary service. Migrating workloads might cause significant disruptions. Uh, cost constraints prevent maintaining duplicate environments across the clouds. Uh, that includes the cost associated with um, transferring data out of the cloud into another. Uh, and finally, the organization lacks the expertise to manage the added complexity. So in these cases, alternate HA methods could include multi-region failover within the same cloud provider, which is often simpler and more cost effective. But other approaches might include hybrid cloud solutions where critical data is mirrored to on-premises infrastructure or active-active configurations across zones within the same cloud to ensure resilience without cross-cloud complexities. Dave, thank you so much for joining me today and talk about cloud-to-cloud -cloud failover for high availability. You had great insights on the topic. Thank you so much, and I look forward to our next discussion. Thank you. Thanks. I'm glad to be here.